If you want to cast your Quest 2 headset to a PC or laptop so you can share your gameplay with others in the room, I'm going to show you two simple ways you can do it. So let's get straight to it. The first way is to cast via the Oculus website. First go to the universal menu in your headset and then click on the casting icon which is the arrow. Then click on casting. Now you'll be able to click here on where it says computer. On your PC or laptop you then need to go to oculus.com forward slash casting and you need to do this within 60 seconds. On the Oculus site, you have to sign into your Facebook account and once you've done that, your headset starts casting automatically and that's it. The image size you get is four by three, so it's a square image, so it's not ideal and I couldn't figure out a way of changing this, but if you do know, then let me know in the comments. So with the second method, which is a simple alternative, first go to the Microsoft Store on your laptop or PC and this is usually found in an icon at the bottom of the page. Now search for air receiver and make sure this is one word. Make sure the icon that you find looks like this and then double click and download. You've got two options here, you can either go for the free trial or you can buy it outright and to buy it outright it's only a few dollars or a few pounds. So once you've downloaded it then launch the app and when you launch it it will come up with the laptop or PC name at the top and this is the name that you need to look for when you go back into the headset. Now go back into your headset and you need to go to the arrow sharing icon again on the universal menu in order to access the casting options. Now click on cast and this will bring up the various options to choose from. Now find the one that says laptop or desktop PC depending on what you're using and select it and it will start casting to your laptop using the air receiver app. If it doesn't cast straight away first of all make sure that your headset and your laptop or PC are on the same Wi-Fi network. And you can also try the classic of closing the app and restarting it again and usually I find that that sorts out the problem straight away. If at any point you want to stop casting then click on the share arrow again from the universal menu and then click stop casting. And the good thing with the air receiver app is that it can also be used for airplay on other devices as well. And for either of these casting options you can also plug your laptop into a bigger TV via an HDMI cable so you've got an even bigger screen. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and if you're new to the quest you can watch these two videos next. My name's Rich, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.